I'm Kwabna Boahin. I'm an associate professor in the uh, bioengineering department. I'm interested in the brain. And um, I'm working on trying to understand how it works. If you claim you understand how the brain works, right? You have to be able to build one. What happens when, you know, a part of your brain malfunctions and you want to replace it? This problem arises when you have somebody who has a stroke or you have somebody who, you know, lost an arm in, in uh, Iraq or whatever. Uh, you want to give them what's called a prosthesis. You want to give them an artificial arm. But you want to be able to control that, which means that you have to interface with the brain, right? And the electronics or the chips that you interface with the brain have to be very low power, very efficient, so that you can implant them and they don't fry the other cells in there. And so we just got a grant to do this using chips that actually are working more like the brain does. They have what we call silicon neurons in there and silicon synapses and we connect them in networks that can process the information similar to what the way the brain does. And we get the same kind of efficiency that the brain gets by doing this. And so this is, provides a solution for something like a prosthesis. And so I think this is gonna be a, a real, a big opportunity in this field is to really provide that sort of next paradigm for computing that can really exploit nanotechnology to really do computation very efficiently and at a level that's comparable to what you see in the, in the brain. Mm -hmm.